हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन पार्ट वन वी हैव सीन इमेज थियरी लेट इज कंटिन्यू इमेज थियरी एंड इंट्रोडक्शन टू मोनोपोल एंटेना इफ वी कंसिडर वर्टिकल करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर सिचुएटेड एट अ हाइट एच अबाउ द इन्फाइनाइट ग्राउंड प्लेन देन एट अ फार फील्ड पॉइंट पी वन देयर विल बी रेडिएशन ड्यू टू एक्चुअल सोर्स एंड देयर विल बी रेडिएशन ड्यू टू रिफ्लेक्शन फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड now if we consider this reflected wave and if we extend this wave below the ground in a straight line we will notice that it will appear to be originated from a virtual source which is situated below the ground at a same height h it means that at far field point p1 there are radiations due to actual source which is situated above the ground and due to imaginary source which is called as image of this actual source which is situated below the ground current direction in both these sources is same now if we remove this ground plane and if we consider that there are two actual sources source 1 and source 2 and this ground plane is not there then also at point p1 there will be radiations due to source 1 and radiations due to source 2 which are same as that of the before so it in other words it means that instead of using two sources if we use one source and if we insert ground plane in between two sources total radiations will be same as that of two sources and that two we will get using only one source the same concept is extended in or is used in the monopole antenna in dipole antenna two poles or two conductors are used now dipole antennas are used in hf and vhf communication for this communication length of dipole which is required is very large it is in terms of several meters so practically it is very difficult to install such large sized antennas so instead of dipole monopole antennas can be used so as we have seen in image theory we can replace two sources by one source and ground so in the same way if we use only one pole from these two poles so one pole it is called as monopole and we have inserted ground plane in between so a monopole is situated on this infinite ground plane length of this monopole is lambda by 4 so length is reduced and signal input current is applied between monopole and the ground plane according to image theory radiation pattern formed by this monopole will be same as that of dipole according to image theory this is actual monopole and its image is below the ground plane so radiation pattern will be same as that of dipole so this is main advantage of monopole length is reduced to half now we have already seen dipole equations for dipole since monopole is special case of dipole equations for e theta and h phi will be same as that of dipole only in this case we will substitute k equal to 2 pi by lambda which is phase constant and l is equal to lambda by 4 length of dipole so by substituting equations for e theta and h phi becomes like this now we have seen monopole and it is ground plane so we, uh, all the integrals will be evaluated only in this hemisphere since this is ground so no integral will be evaluated in this hemisphere lower hemisphere so integral limits will be theta will vary from 0 to pi by 2 and phi will vary vary from 0 to 2 pi so with this integral limits if we evaluate these integrals total power radiated by monopole it comes out to be 1 by 2 i0 square into 36.54 so 
when equ equated it with standard expression we get radiation resistance of monopole is equal to 36.54 ohms which is exactly half of that half wave dipole now the radiation intensity of monopole is maximum along theta equal to pi by 2 now radiation uh, directivity is given by 4 pi into maximum radiation intensity divided by radiated power so substituting all these expressions we get directivity to be 3.284 which is twice that of lambda by 2 dipole the radiation from the monopole are vertically polarized thank you